welcome back to my vlog. We're having a little pre-gym breakfast right now. We're having some egg whites, some, some tomatoes from my dad's garden. Nutritional yeast, I always add nutritional yeast. It just adds a little bit more. I mean, egg whites are just super bland. So adding some egg whites, some garlic powder, and some salt and pepper is like my go-to for my egg whites. I'm upping my protein right now because I'm in my fat loss journey. And today is day three out of 90 and I'm vlogging it. So don't worry, it's coming with all of my tips and you'll get to see through the process behind the scenes what we're making today we're gonna make a matcha chia pudding with some yogurt and granola and some fruit i saw another influencer make it and it looked absolutely delicious so we're gonna make something similar we're also gonna be making a lunch together and a dinner as per usual so some nice meals that you guys can prepare ahead of time so you can stay aligned with your goals i know this is helping me so much i don't have to think about it my meals are ready. I'm not snacking in between meals while I'm cooking, you know? So for me, meal prepping again is just perfect. So let's get to it. All right, so we're gonna start off by boiling our water so we can make our matcha. That's my little matcha bowl. I'm using the Bloom mix just because that's what I have and I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna be mixing three little teaspoons with some boiling water and making sure I'm breaking down all of the matcha powder. Then we're gonna add in two tablespoons of chia seeds into each mason jar. Then we're going to split up the matcha tea into three, nice and evenly. And then we're gonna add in half a cup of water into each mason jar, as well as a teaspoon of honey for a little bit of sweetness because the chia or the matcha can be a little bit bitter. So just adding in a little honey will do the trick to sweeten it up. And then we're gonna mix them really well, cover them and refrigerate them until tomorrow morning. you guys we are back from grocery shopping back from the gym i ended up having a bagel when i got home because i was just starving after all of that so we're gonna leave the chia puddings till tomorrow i let them sit in the fridge so we're just gonna let that hang out and then tomorrow i will prep the rest don't worry i will show you guys but i'll just wait for tomorrow anyway so then next up we're going to be making my famous tuna bowl it's not with uh, ahi tuna it's just with albacore tuna in a can um, it's like a spicy, I call it my spicy rice, my spicy tuna rice bowl is what I call it. But I'm also going to tweak it a little bit. I'm going to add some jalapeno and some celery as well and some cabbage. So you'll see, you'll see about that. I'm going to finish it tomorrow because it's not good to have tuna open for longer than three to four days. So since I'm not going to have it today, I'm going to have it tomorrow. I'm just going to get the base ready and then tomorrow morning I will prep this with you guys and show you how I finish off those bowls but don't worry we're gonna be completing a recipe today we're gonna to make a Buddha bowl with with crispy tofu nuggets haven't made tofu nuggets in a long time but I am stoked to make them again they're so freaking delicious so I'll show you how easy that is we're gonna do some roasted cauliflower we have a kale salad we're gonna make again because we have some leftover kale we're gonna add some chickpeas and some feta, and then we're also gonna add some edamame beans. So a lot going on there, and then we're gonna finish that off. We're gonna make a guac sauce. So again, you guys, all the ingredients I'm using are right here, minus the rice. So very wholesome, very like whole foods, because your body deserves the best, and whole foods is just, that's where you're getting all your nutrients from. So anyway, let's get cooking. Guys, one of my biggest tips 
biggest tip is if you add a tablespoon of coconut oil to your rice, it actually keeps the rice more moist. So like, you know, that hard rice that you have three days later, yeah, you don't get it as much with coconut oil. Oh, you guys, if you follow me on Instagram, I just posted the recipe for these cluster, these chocolate clusters. They're so good. Go check it out. All right, so let's make our tofu nuggets. I like to cut my tofu in a little bit of bigger squares for the nuggets, and I like to use extra firm tofu just to help it better to cook faster. And then we're gonna dip it in some arrowroot, which is like a cornstarch, but healthier. And then we're gonna dip it in some water, and then we're gonna dip it in this blend with breadcrumbs and nutritional yeast. I like to add the nutritional yeast, just add a little bit of extra flavor in there. to put the edamames in a strainer and let the water kind of like flow on it a little bit so it defrosts rather than throwing it in the microwave. I'm trying to reduce the need to use a microwave. What I want to do. So there you go. Healthier, healthier way to defrost. Alright, so the tofu nuggets are in the oven. The rice is ready. I want some roasted cauliflower in my Buddha bowls. So that's what we're gonna do next. We're just gonna chop up what we need and toss them in the oven because the oven's on high right now for the nuggets. Um, yeah, and then we're gonna combine everything. If this is a super easy meal prep because you know, your girl likes it simple and easy. No drama. We got no time for no drama. Pudding in the kitchen. cauliflower and our tofu are cooking we're just going to finish off the rice bowls I, I, I also added the cauliflower in there because i wanted to save some space and your girl just you know she figured it would all fit in the same pan so it did so yes well, i bought albacore tuna i personally like albacore better I, it just tastes better and i know that albacore tuna is a good tuna fish some other things just say like white fish and i have no idea what that is and i just rather I just like the albacore. I just feel like it's a safe bet. So we're gonna mix in the tuna tomorrow with mayo and sriracha, because that's where the spiciness is gonna come in from. We're also gonna add in some jalapeno and some celery. And then we're gonna have it with rice, some cabbage, and some green onion. I'm in a deficit right now in my, in my meals, so I'm trying to add in like more fillers in a sense, but that are hydrating and really good for me. Like celery and cucumber are really good, really good for hydration as well. So we're adding that in there. But yeah, we're only gonna add the tuna and the mayo tomorrow. So you'll see what I mean in a few seconds. I'm gonna chop everything up, combine the tuna rice bowls and finish them off tomorrow morning. Then we'll move on to the Buddha bowls. <laughs>
All right, so when it comes to chickpeas, this is why I hesitate when I cook with them because they always have this little coating on them. As you can see, I'm taking it apart. Um, this part actually doesn't really digest properly in your body, so taking it apart will actually help better with your digestion. Even though it takes a lot of time, in the long run, it's better for you. And to promote better digestion as well, we're going to be massaging our kale. So I washed it, destemmed it, and I'm adding some oil, lemon, and some salt. And we're going to massage that really well in there, which is also going to use a little bit of a dressing for the kale salad as well. All right, you guys, the Buddha bowls are put together. Now we're going to make our sauce, which you know me. I like to make my sauces homemade. So I'm gonna add some garlic. I don't want it to be too garlicky, so I'm only gonna add two garlic cloves. And remember, this sauce is gonna be for four days. So we're gonna add in an avocado for some healthy fats. And I think what's really cool about making my own sauces is that I can actually add more sauce to it because what's inside of here like there's lemon juice there's some water there's avocado one full avocado right i'm gonna put some cilantro in there and some nutritional yeast and it's all things that are whole foods it's just slightly processed by blending and because of that i'm in control of how many calories i know i'm speaking a lot about calories but it's true that sauces have a lot of calories some of them so being able to make my own and controlling the amount of like calories i guess like the stuff that's going in it is better rather than like adding all this oil and stuff like that like as you can see i'm not adding any oil i'm just adding the avocado which is pretty much the only thing that like has higher calories but it's really good calories essentially i'm making this sauce or this uh dressing sauce dressing how i would normally make my my guacamole so i'm making like kind of like my guacamole in a sauce form so i have an avocado i'm using half a lime, lemon juice oh my god this is why you go to the gym right i'm just gonna add a quarter cup of water to start because we don't want it to be too runny but we don't want it to be too thick either adding that just gonna add a bunch of cilantro the stems are on there it don't matter a spoon we're gonna add two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. You know what? We're gonna add an extra thing of water. All right, let's give her a blend. Freaking love this blender, man. I do, I really, really do. She works so well. All right, we definitely need to add water. I'd say like a cup. All right, Ooh. hot muscles. All right, here we go. She's really green. Gonna add some salt and pepper. I'm trying to think of what else I could add to like, I don't know, like it's pretty good. I'm gonna add a little bit of onion powder. I feel like it's just missing something. I usually add this to my guacamole anyway. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon. Eyeballing it here. All right, let's try that. Let's try her out. She got some salt and pepper in there. I think she has enough liquid. So that's the thing, you just gotta like find that right consistency for you. All right, let's try it. Ooh, let's try her again. It's so hot because it's blending so much. It's like, it's kind of weird. Yeah, great. See, now it's great. Look at that consistency. I don't want to like pour it on the floor. I'll pour it on the salad, you'll see. I'll pour it on the bowl and you'll see. And look how much sauce that made. And that's like one avocado. Like I probably won't even use that sauce on all four Buddha bowls, cause that's a lot. So like realistically, that one avocado, like this is probably 200 calories, this entire jar. Like if you look at, if you look at a sauce for two tablespoons of my favorite dressing that maybe one day I'll have to try and remake, for two tablespoons of this, it's 135. So you can see the difference. Like I know I'm speaking calories, but also just like what's in it. Like there's really great stuff in here, but like there's things that you don't necessarily need, like oils and stuff like that. Like this doesn't have any oil. This just has an avocado, which obviously I guess it's an oil form because it's liquid now, but you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean, right?
All right, so let's finish our spicy tuna bowls because I'm starving and I want to have my dinner. So at the same time, we're going to prep the other lunches so that they're good to go. So I have my jalapenos I cut yesterday and my celery that I cut yesterday. And now we're going to open these cans of tuna. Now, if you're a cat owner and you have never given your cat the water that comes from these cans, so he knows I'm talking about it. He's just whipped his head around. They'll go crazy. So when I have tuna, Arthur has tuna water. Get down! Oof, I can't go if you're not gonna go. Show me the way. Yeah. Yeah? guys how amazing does this rice bowl look <sighs> this is definitely one of my favorite favorite recipes however i tweaked it by adding some celery the jalapenos the dressing and all of that oh yeah oh yeah i did add a little dressing on top i actually mixed some cashews sir uh, sriracha and some mayo together i blended that up and i just kind of made a little drizzle and there she goes right it's a little extra saucy but not too much you can also add some soya sauce if you want or some Bragg's liquid soy. Anyway, I'm going to go enjoy this. Well, guys, thanks so much for joining me in meal prepping. I'm so pumped for all my meals this week. I hope you guys make some amazing meals that nourish your body as well. Make sure to like and subscribe and also to subscribe to my mailing list so you don't miss out on any recipes. Plus, I share all my new stuff coming out on there as well. So thanks again and I'll see you in the next one.